Welcome everyone to SOC 3380 Sociological Theory. I'm so excited to have you in the class this semester. We've got a lot of really great fun things planned for us to do to try and learn the kind of core of classical sociological theory. Um, so in this video what I'd like to do is just walk you through some of the basic parts of the course um, and especially orient you to our learning environment, the D2L uh, learning platform. So this, you can kind of think about this short, it'll be less than 10 minutes, this short video um, as a way to kind of walk you through and orient you to the class itself. Um, walking you through a little bit of the syllabus, but especially walking you through how to navigate the course and uh, the course website. So if you can look here, I'm just going to kind of show you how uh, to, to do this. This is, I've, I'm previewing this as if I'm a student. So um, if you just scroll down, you can see where your uh, where this class is in, in your, uh, in, in, on your home page. And then this is our home page. This is our learning space. This is our learning environment. This is our classroom. This is a fully online asynchronous course. That means that it is, um, we're not, there's not going to be any time where we meet together. There's not going to be any time where we sit down in a classroom. And there's not going to be any time where we uh, get on a Zoom or a Teams meet with one another uh, to talk through the class. It's fully asynchronous. So you're gonna be able to do this um, throughout the week at whatever works best for your schedule. Um, there will be a structure to the class, um, but this will provide you with a lot of flexibility to do it this way, um, to do it at, at your convenience and your with your schedule. Now, um, so this is uh, the, the homepage, and I wanna orient you a little bit to how I've set it up. So the easiest thing to do, there's a couple of different ways that we can kind of navigate um, the course website. Uh, one is if you look down here at the content browser, everything is loaded right there. Um, so, so all of the modules that we'll be going through um, are, are right there. And if you click on the best way to, to, if you ever get disoriented in the class or you're ever not sure exactly what's going on, one way to, to, to reorient yourself is to go to the start here page. And this is exactly where I want you to go um, at the start of the class uh, this semester. So when you go here, you can actually see all of the different uh, uh, things that we've got laid out for you. You can see the introductory videos, the syllabus, all of the assignment instructions, the quizzes, and a variety of extra resources for you um, uh, in your, in, for college, but also uh, specifically for the class. Now, there's, that's one way to kind of navigate through the website. There's another, uh, another way that I want to highlight for you as well, which is to go up here to, to the content tab. So if you go to this content tab, you can click on it and it will um, basically outline the entire course for you. So here we are, um, the first introduction to the course. Um, again, you can go to the start here page um, and that will orient you to where you need to be and what, what you need to do. Um, so here are the links you're already I've already identified this link here uh, to watch this video. Uh, here's the syllabus, link to the syllabus quiz. Um, all of the, the assignment instructions listed out with the, their appropriate videos attached to them. Um, and you can see uh, some of the quizzes uh, up to now. I mean, I'll talk through these different kinds of quizzes that we're going to be having uh, this, this semester. And then some extra important links uh, for you as well, student resources that may be of benefit to you throughout the course of the semester, uh, to the counseling center, uh, the food pantry, uh, the writing center, wellness center, academic success center, the office of the dean of, the, of students. And this link down here actually is just a really cool link. Um, if you get really excited about some of the theoretical concepts we're, we're talking about this semester, where you can kind of explore a little bit further about some of these. Um, and so if you go to the table of contents, you can again see bracketed out um, uh, the basic structure of the course, each of the modules over here uh, on the, the left hand side of the page. And you could just tap into any of those modules and find a particular week um, as it's laid out throughout the course. All right. Now, uh, let's get back uh, to that home page. Um, a couple of other things that I want you to take note of. Um, we have an announcements tool right here. It's not updated uh, quite yet. I, I need to organize that, but I'm gonna be communicating with you throughout the entirety of the semester. Every single week, um, you'll receive announcements, especially at the beginning of the week on Monday and at the end of the week on Friday. 
But actually, you'll find that I post announcements almost daily throughout the week to help keep us up to date with what is going on uh, in the course. I strongly encourage you to check into the course every single day. Uh, this doesn't mean you have to spend hours on end inside of the course every single day, but just to check in and see the announcements at least and make sure you understand what's happening. Certainly every Monday you need to be checking in to see what the structure of the week is going to be like and what's, what's going to happen this week. Um, and at the end of the week on a Friday, you should definitely check in to see uh, the kind of course summary that, or, or the, the week summary that I'm going to, to provide. But um, again, I really encourage you to check in every single day. We're going to be having discussions that are going to require you to check in uh, most weeks uh, on a semi-daily basis, uh, certainly on a regular basis. Um, you can get to those discussions in a couple of different ways. You can go to this discussion um, uh, tab at the top. You can scroll down and see all of the different discussions that we're going to be having throughout the course of the semester. But again, another way to do it um, uh, that I've tried to lay out is in the content browser. Uh, again, you'll get everything that you need for a particular week. So let's just, just pick a particular week. Yes, yeah, so week three, um, here you can see um, what you're going to be reading for the week, the video you're going to need to watch for that week, and the group discussion that we're going to have over the course of the week. And then uh, you'll end up seeing at the end a, a summarizing Hobbes video to help, uh, again, deepen your understanding of, of Hobbes that week. Uh, now, a couple of key things I want you to, to keep in mind here. Um, you really need to go um, and check out the syllabus. Go to the Start Here page. Check out the syllabus. That's going to give you all the details that you need uh, for the entirety of the course. Um, we're going to be, again, having discussions. There are two kinds of discussions that we're going to have. Um, and you've got a, there's a video to help explain how these work. We have uh, some weeks we're going to be having class-wide discussions where the entire class is going to be talking together about the material. Uh, other weeks we're going to be having um, group discussions where you're going to be in a smaller subset of your class uh, having a more in-depth conversation. Those discussions especially have a particular structure through the week. Um, so they're going to start on a Tuesday with a discussion leader who's going to um, talk about the particular prompt that I've given and then on Wednesday everyone else will begin to, to chime in and on Thursday um, we'll have a kind of wrap-up discussion, uh, wrap-up your, your group level discussion so that we can head into Friday with, in which you're going to have uh, your weekly quiz. Now there are two types of quizzes that you're going to have. Um, one of them I call learning quizzes and the other I call assessment quizzes. In those learning quizzes um, those are going to be uh, uh, happen every single week, uh, more, unless you're having an assessment quiz, they're going to happen every single week. Um, they're really designed for you to be able to take them as many times as you want so that you can kind of, they're designed to help you learn the material from the quiz itself um, as a kind of after you've read the material, done the discussions, uh, uh, listened to any videos for the week. You're going to use those learning quizzes to really learn and make sure you understand the material you need to learn uh, for that week. For that reason, you can take them as many times as you like, and I will only take your highest uh, quiz grade for that. Three times out of the semester, you're going to have what I call assessment quizzes. Those you only get to take once, and they're designed uh, for you to really show me what you know, and I'm assessing your, your knowledge of the material uh, through those quizzes. Those you only get to take once, um, and... and um, so you need to, to study for them just like you would a, a regular quiz. I have another video that I've, that I've uploaded to kind of talk you through the differences between these quizzes. Uh, so make sure you take a look at those videos as well. Um, and again, you can find these things uh, on the assignment instructions. So you'll see here um, where you have online discussion instructions and a video explaining how those different discussions are going to work. We're going to have group discussions as well as um, class-wide discussions. So uh, with that in mind, uh, the, the thing I really want you to do um, as we get started for the semester is go to that syllabus, um, download that syllabus so you have a copy of it um, and you can look over that, that syllabus. You're going to take a syllabus quiz. That's the very first quiz. It's going to help you understand how the quizzes work, but it's also going to be used as a way uh, to make sure you understand the core aspects of the class. So go download that syllabus. 
uh, uh, check out what's going to be happening over the course of this semester and let me know what questions you have. I look forward to working with all of you this semester. Take care.